Many of you might have seen the release of the Flyfold 2.0 wallet from Pioneer Carry. If you're familiar with the 1.0 version, you might wonder what the differences are. If you've never seen the 1.0 version, then I'll show you, and then you'll know what you're getting with the 2.0 version. Let's go get this son of a This is the 1.0. This is the 2.0. Let's talk about this. This is the color blue-white, which I think is really attractive, to be honest. And it's designed and engineered in the United States, made in Vietnam, same as this one. And if we look at features, uh, very similar, nothing on the exterior. We have two interior card slots right here, capacity up to 10 cards, and a billfold pocket, capacity up to you know six to eight notes, and it fits all currencies. This is RFID protected. Now, if we pull in its new 2.0 version, from a quality perspective, uh, this is forest green. I like kind of like this color. And again, design made, engineered in the United States and made in Vietnam. Um, and nothing on the exterior. If we look at here again, we have two card slots, one on each side, and we have a billfold pocket. Oops, sorry, wrong side. And a billfold pocket right here. This can hold up to 12 cards and full bills. However, there's a limitation on taller currencies. It won't handle yen and euro. So let's uh, kind of put these two next to each other just really quickly. And you can see just that very minimal difference in the height, but that makes all the difference when we're talking about taller currencies. Now let's go down the rabbit hole. From cards, 1.0 can handle 10, 2.0 can handle 12. Cash perspective, no capacity given, but six to eight works well with both of them. All currencies, both tall as well as normal, can work with 1.0. Uh, you know, the 2.0 works well with currencies, but cannot handle the taller currencies, as I mentioned. From a measurements perspective, you can see the difference, difference between the two, and you can see that the difference in the width of the 2.0 is markedly different as well as the height, which really comes down to that currency differential. You can see that 1.0 is heavier by way of materials. Interesting. So let's look at the build differences. These two have some similarities, including their name, but the 2.0 has been completely redesigned. And you can see this when I pull both of these open, and you know it's a little rough because of the material here to try and do that, and they're bifolds, they want to close, but you can kind of see that here. We begin to see that there is des uh, differences in design and construction. Uh, the geometry of the material used, the cuts that are made, where the sewing was done, they're all different. And you know, you've got a few little design elements in here. Now, how you place cards from the seam in on both of them is the same. That provides great security as cards face inward, you don't have that problem. Now, the visual aspects of this is also interesting. You can see that on, uh, I, I really like these, um, this, this sewing pattern they have here. And these are full slots, while this on the 2.0 is just a slit between them. You can also notice here that we have a fold over of the material which is sewn, and that is something that we do not see with the 1.0. It's just a sandwich of material and it's just then sewn. It's a fold over, which is more traditional bifold manufacturing techniques. Of course, you can also see the difference in the rounded corner on the 2.0. You've got a tight square as well as, well as a cutoff up here. And so, like I said, this is what you would tra traditionally see with most bifolds. And uh, by way of material at the end for capacity, can you see that top loop right up here? I kind of put my finger in. The more loop you have, the more capacity you can get into a particular wallet. And you can also see the length here in the bottom. That's what provides flex as you have more that goes in by way of cards and cash. And that's why we see the difference in the capacity between these two. Okay, so what does this all really mean? Been keeping track, the summary of changes include the improvement of pliability with this 10XD material. I'm just not putting much effort into this. The original 1.0, if I'm putting that same amount of effort, this is very, very stiff. Whereas we don't get that with the 2.0. This is more uh, easy to the touch, and like I mentioned, very pliable. Not so much with the 1.0. This really has some a break-in period to deal with. You have an increased capacity in the 2.0, albeit by Two cards, decrease in currency size accommodations. You can't handle taller currencies, the size difference. And we showed you that the height is a little bit different and the length is a little bit longer than the 1.0. Completely re-engineered. And all this while being really thinner than what you get with the 1.0. If you can't tell that from here, well then look a little closer. The 2.0 really is thinner when it comes to uh, its companion and its predecessor in the 1.0. So construction, the materials used, make these two very distinct 
with the 2.0 version, taking on a more traditional bifold construction via the rollover edges I mentioned before, and uh, the slots versus the slits in how cards go in. If you're leaning toward a slimmer, thinner design, then the 2.0 version is probably for you. I believe both are great wallets, but if you like the 1.0 version, you're kind of out of luck because only the 2.0 is sold now. If you found this video useful, useful, then I'd recommend watching this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.